This video will show you how to install OBS on GPU servers, and provide a quick start guide for running it. Before installation, you need to find a suitable server for you. The system configuration requirements are as follows. According to the official system requirements of OBS, there are many popular plans suitable for OBS on our website. You can choose the configurations that best meet your streaming and recording needs. Here we will go with GTX 1660 for demonstration. Step 1, Logging to your server. Open remote desktop connection. Here, we enter the IP address. Fill in the username and password. Then, the pop-up appears. Click, Yes. Here we logged into the server. Step 2, Install OBS. Go to the official site of OBS. There are three options that you can download on demand. Here we choose to click on Windows. Click the exe file here, and click install. Here you can see, we have successfully installed OBS. Step 3, quick, start guide. Number 1, run the auto configuration wizard. Let's start by setting up the best settings for your recordings and streams. Click tools, in the top bar, then choose auto configuration wizard to specify, what you want to use the program for, the video settings you would like to use, and enter your stream information. Number 2. Add sources to your scenes. When you start OBS Studio, you start with a blank scene by default. You can add all kinds of sources, to show images, text, video, your webcam, gameplay, desktop, etc. Click on the plus symbol in the sources, you can choose to add one or more sources. Number 3. Set up your audio. By default, OBS Studio is set to capture your desktop audio and microphone. You can verify this by looking at the volume meters in the audio mixer, at the bottom of the main OBS Studio window. If they aren't moving, or you suspect the wrong device is being captured, click Settings in the Controls column, and then click Audio to select the devices manually. Number 4. Test your settings. To double check if all your settings are how you want them, you can click Settings, then click Output. Finally click Start Recording or Start Streaming. We strongly encourage running a test for a few minutes to make sure that there are no issues, rather than just jumping into your first stream or recording. This is all about the OBS installation and quick start guide. You can contact us for more guidance.